Thank you. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello. For today's episode of Ratchet Bowl, we're going to welcome a new member and also get to know more about him. Marcus! Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah! So Marcus is uh, our new tenor mm -hmm. and he's going to be taking over Chia for a while while he continues his studies um, in New York. So Marcus, yes. tell us a little bit more about yourself. Like what's your background? In singing? Uh, or in life? Anything lah. I am a cabin crew for about almost two years now. So I've always been in the service industry la, and uh, singing has always been a passion and I do on the side as well. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people would not want to be in the service industry. <laughs> like, it's very difficult, right? It was, I always felt it was easy for me to talk okay. to people and, 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 and provide good service to them. I don't know if I feel that if I do provide a good service at the end of the day, oh, that sounds very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, it's quite um, what do you call that word? Uh? Satisfying for me as well. Oh really? Mm. So yeah. a giver. I'm a giver. Oh my That's god. Right. That's right. How how how's your experience right so far? To be honest, right? Yeah. I haven't had any like all those like monster really, yeah. customers that you see on the internet and all that. Mm. But I've totally heard a lot of stories about monstrous customers. Monstrous, yeah. Monstrous. Yeah. Monstrous, monstrous customers. Monstrous customers. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot. And I'm sure a, a lot of my the people that I know in the service industry have been in that position before but I don't know, I'm quite lucky. I've met people who are very particular or you know, they think they are up there. Mm -hmm. But if you just render the service like you would anybody else and treat them like normal, you know, they'll just put you them sound in their like place. You're very, very professional. We all talked about like, you know, what we wish for Apex uh, to be a central etc. So what is it, what do you envision it to be like for you? On a local scale, I hope the Apex would be the a cappella group in Singapore, original a cappella music in Singapore. That's the, that's the key word. Original a cappella music in Singapore. He always speaks like he's an evangelist. Be the change you want, want to, to see in the world. Oh. And on a on a on a global scale, oh, wow. I hope that we can we can tour. We can tour Asia. We can tour US. We can tour as many places as possible and share and spread the music as much. To as many audiences as possible. See, I'm speaking about right, the Alright, my child, again. your so wish is granted because, because we are going to be touring in Hong Kong! Yes, we are! Yay. Next month for two weeks. That's let's, super exciting let's, stuff. Let's Who will we be singing alongside with? No Risters! And? I don't know. Oh, no, no, the other one is. Uh, Accent vocal? Accent vocal. Accent vocal. vocal. Thanks. Thanks. So, right, today we're gonna have Marcus play with us a game of Would You Rather. Would you rather. smell. And your chin's breath. Breath? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's nasty. Somehow. Like yeah. put your, your nose into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't think what I would mind either one of this, their breath. I don't think both of them have that breath. Oh. This is such a service industry answer. Right? <laughs> so the training is kicking in. But you have to choose. Would you rather it's all yeah. about choosing and then and then making a statement on why you, you want to get another it. answer. If I was in Singapore, I would choose Ali. If I was in US, I would choose Chiang. Hey! You don't really know what's, what to say. Yeah. Right? Would you rather a guy or a girl with very bad body odor or very bad breath? I think very bad breath. And Just you're doing it, you're doing it. Just don't kiss. You're doing it. So the, the, the scene and the setting is that you guys are doing it. Okay. Bad breath, right? so don't, just no kissing. Right? I would rather have bad breath because body odor is just like you cannot hide one. Which, <laughs> which area you do is also like bad one. When so you can do something, you can just spray deodorant, super cow. Spray deodorant, super cow, you feel like puking after that. <laughs> is that disgusting? Okay, okay. Oh god. Okay, okay. Super bad body odor. Super bad. I mean, it's both super bad. Yeah, both are super bad. Yeah. Wow. What even be there, man? Mm. Super bad breath, but no kissing. Super bad breath. Oh. Okay, next nice question. Come on, you. Okay, that's the question. Would you rather be smart and not popular, or super dumb but lovable? Oh. Wow. Lovable. I think I think that's a no-brainer for me because being in the service industry, what do I want to be? To please, right? So I'll be dumb and lovable. lovable. What's the point of being smart and then having nobody to, you know? Share but what's whatever. the point of being dumb if okay when you are dumb but you're popular it could be because people are laughing at you? No, you said lovable. Yeah, lovable. Oh. People love you because they laugh at you. Okay, wait, no, but, but the question is like like the person is smart 
and not popular but they have like friends, right? Yeah. I don't know, it's up to you to set your contacts. I rather be smart. No, you set the contacts, you're not asking the question. I rather be smart. You rather be smart, yeah. even if it makes you not popular. Yeah. A good example of smart, but not popular will be Chiyang. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting question. It's an interesting question. Mm. So um, you guys have an answer? But I guess your it, it, I'll still choose the fact that smart. I chose this path means I would rather be popular. Okay, but you then again, you can be smart and rich, but still not popular. So you can be smart and pay the bills. You see, mm. it's going to pay the bills. As in, it could potentially pay the bills. It's just that you will just not, uh, have like a lot, lot of friends, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think if I'm like smart and like not popular, I wouldn't give a shit about whether I'm popular or not. That's I true. think smart people won't give a shit whether they're popular. Exactly, <laughs> that's the thing. Would you rather put your hand into a tank full of fire eggs? <laughs> Or scrape algae off with your teeth. <laughs> I would choose my hands any day. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can I can uh, take pain, but I can't take gross stuff. Okay. Yeah. How about you? I think I will scrape. <laughs> algae. <laughs> so we clearly know who is the dirty one here. You don't know what's gonna happen when you put uh your hand in 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 you know what, gonna, tank of fire ants. You know what's gonna happen, it's gonna be excruciating pain. Yeah. Yeah and you may lose your hand then. Oh god. At the rate you are doing that. I would rather I'd rather eat some shit than lose my hand. Ooh, okay, uh, there we go. Okay, yeah. There cool. we go. Alright. Cool. Cool. You know, and LK is actually vegetable if you think it's very good. Okay, I'll give you one. Would you rather three small balls or one big ball? <laughs> Like if you have a guy, you're going out with a guy, right? And then you like him already, and then you're about to do it, and then you take off his pants. Would you rather see three small <laughs> balls or one like one big one? Just hanging around. I think ball. I can't decide because I don't think it will matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so either one would, that wouldn't matter. Because either one, I will get shocked. Yeah, you, I know. But which one would you not mind? Like, oh my god, then mm, okay, if that's the way you are. Oh, that's nasty. I think both are fine la. Oh if I can God. get over that shock part, She's both are fine. Yeah, if, right. you, if I can get over the shock part even, I think both are fine. Oh my God. Yeah, because it's like, two, both are just like... <laughs> Equally abnormal. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll choose three. You know why? Because in case one more drops, you got two. Huh? But the one, right, the one gone is gone really. Yeah. GG. How was it? I don't know, you never know. But how did it become one and three? You, you scrape the algae off the cell. <laughs> yeah! yeah. You know, this is so weird, right? It's like anything can happen to it. So, you are just you are just <laughs> making you are just making sure that if anything goes wrong again, there's still something there, you know? That's cool, that's actually sure that people a very are good, actually um, really like that in real life. Oh. Yeah, I feel like like this is a very bad question, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Would you rather get electrocuted to death or would you rather get hanged to death? Hung. Hung to death. Yeah, get hung to death. That's really morbid. Yeah. I mean this is capital punishment, right? People like this is how they Oh well, then right? then you might as well add the third one, the little injection is too. Oh uh, no, so little injection is not but because you were choosing five injections. seconds. I would choose to be hung. Why? Because it's faster. What makes you think so? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. You, if you if you get uh sentenced to electric chair, right? And then if you survive it you will be let off. Oh so, serious or yeah. I choose life. Boys and girls choose life. Hang on, seems less scary. Okay. Seems cool. less scary, right? Yeah, yeah I was supposed to get electrocuted. Okay, great, we've got not much time left. Yeah, okay then. So I guess I guess we're all very different people. We might not be able to work by